Hello, this is a Beckstein Model 4 Grand Piano that's 220 centimetres long, 7 foot 3, and dated 1890. I've just come into stock, just trying to decide what we should do with it and uh, whether we should fully restore it or whether it can be reconditioned. Now the casework is all original, I think, which is encouraging. Um, and the outside of the piano doesn't look as though it's ever been worked on, although it was in fact sold by Harrods in 1932, so maybe I'm wrong there. Perhaps it was polished in 1932. Now there's, there's the Harrods plaque on the piano when they sold it, so they would have reconditioned it, or rather fully restored possibly, and that's the number we can tell from our records that that's about 1932. Now the polish on the case is pretty... Uh, uninteresting there should be lots of uh, nice figured figured veneer figured rosewood underneath that and uh, certainly if we repolished it we'd bring out the maximum grain contrast that we could as is the top lid it does show pr some promise it shows some variety of grain um, so we'd very much love to repolish this piano uh, that's certainly something we would like to do this is a Model 3, very similar Be age Beckstein Grand that we I managed to find. This is actually looking at my laptop and the image on there. But I'll put a link at the bottom to uh, the image of this piano to see what kind of restoration can be done. This is the side of that piano. Um, so it does, obviously the image isn't that brilliant on the computer. But um, I'll link to the actual video that I made. Now, obviously this won't, won't be exactly the same, but you can see some promising rosewood veneer here. Um, and it really has been covered over in a strange way. This is quite commonly done for some reason, uh, covering over the original grain. This is the original logo on the Beckstein. Um, if the piano is fully restored, sometimes re restorers change that to the, a more modern logo. Uh, the one we saw on the video uh, and this one have the same more modern Beckstein logo. Now the one on the video and this one that we have in stock is fully restored Beckstein 1909 I think it is um, Model 8 and that has the modern logo on it or the more modern logo. So when pianos are fully restored sometimes that is replaced. I think we would like to keep as much original as possible um, but if you're interested in this piano it, the, they're one of the very best pianos ever made. We have in stock a Beckstein Model 3 this is very similar and uh, I'll put a link to that on, on as well to see what the kind of tone it can have. Uh, so that's uh, the cosmetics and so now we'll have a look at the sound and the mechanics of the piano. Oh by the way the key tops they do seem to be original uh, ivory, they're replacements actually which is unusual. Um, so that's one piece ivory, that's how we know they're replacements and they seem to be in very good condition. The piano has been re-strung I would guess in, in the 1930s when, just before Harrods sold it and the tuning pins are very tight so that's that's positive we'll look at the set we'll listen to the sound in a minute um and they are slightly larger than the original ones that shows that they put larger ones in which they should do when they restring so those are let's say 1930s strings they look about the right color for that and by the way the serial numbers here which is 33759 it should be along here and that number isn't the correct serial number and we know that's the correct serial number because it correlates well with this number under the piano, which is nearly always there. So if you haven't got a number on top of your Beckstein, this is 83, I think. Yes, 8364, which um, we have a record of how that correlates with the number on the top. So that should be about 1890. Now the piano, uh, the frame cosmetically doesn't look really good at the moment. So uh, that's been resprayed and really has attracted the dirt and doesn't look very special and you can see where they've masked around the the uh, logo here if we fully restore a piano we actually put a new one on now this is the fully restored Beckstein model a which has a replacement logo on the piano a replacement decal as it's called and exactly the same as the original one now listening to the tone in the mid treble uh, we'll compare it with the model a Beckstein <laughs> quite a harsh sound and um, and is restoring really I think I'm leaning towards fully restoring this piano though it, it does 
the advantage it has is it has tight pun tuning pins and uh, the strings don't sound too bad but we do have a, a patchy tone here we hit listen to the model a i'll put some jump links on so you can jump from one to the other to compare them here's the model a beautiful mellow sound the top treble on the the Bechstein model 4 and the model A of course it only has 85 keys so can't play the top one there and the model 4 sorry I meant in the tenor the tenor on the A and the bass on the 4 now of course it's the longest piano so it has a very rich bass the bass on the A now the Bechstein 4 has a tied action as we've mentioned many times before on the older Bechsteins and we replaced this rocker system uh, with a, a, a new, an, an ordinary modern system here's the normal modern action it doesn't hasn't got the tight not tied the top and the bottom tied together but just has the capstans we've showed many times before and how we've shown how the action is modified i've got a recent one which i'll try and link to which is a model three very similar to the one that we're assessing now it's worth checking for moth as we've said before and there doesn't seem to be any moth here at all actually in the whole piano so that's very encouraging now, there is quite a lot of mildew as you can see here and um, that doesn't seem to damage pianos it just shows that it has been damp at some stage and you can see it on the top of the action here um, and there are several things to look at here the, there's a lot of wear on the back checks here so the piano has been used a lot um, these hammers I think have been replaced since then um, and they need well they'll need all sorts of work really voicing and so on um, these hinges are not tight there's a new one here that has a tight hinge now that's got nice and tight so it moves sideways but this hinge is not tight and this one here you can actually see the pin sticking out I don't know if you can see a pin sticking out there uh, on one side so it's uh, very very loose and there's a few like that so I'm leaning more and more towards fully restoring the piano now we could recondition it and resell it but there's one that's very loose again there's the pin again showing outside the Oh, the right hand side it's very common for that to happen it does obviously indicate huge amounts of wear too and that would be before these hammers have been replaced um, so we want to be we replace hammers shanks and rollers when we do this work because uh, it's uh, it's it's better you get nice tight hinges here and then with the rollers also they tend to wear these are quite hard these rollers there's loads a lot of work that we need doing these hammers shouldn't be resting on this rail um, obviously the blows problem distance and so on and so forth and so general regulation needed if it's going to be reconditioned rather than fully restored so that's an assessment of a Beckstein model 4 grand piano that's 220 centimeters long 7 foot 3 and made in 1890 I believe now it actually sounds very much in tune and is slightly below concert pitch but it has been restrung and it's got tight tuning pins so those are very positive things very very good at quality ivory keys one piece ivories but really the, the action doesn't play at all well. Um, it's the kind of thing we'd love to fully restore. Uh, if you're listening to this and you're interested in the piano, they do make wonderful pianos. We have a video of a Bechstein Model 4, the 240 centimeter long one that we've got in stock and that's a, a delicious sounding piano. And this one already sounds good. The bass is very strong and good strings. I don't think we'd improve those too much by restringing, but the hammers certainly the action itself, the feel of the piano, is not very sensitive. Obviously it's a very big job and very expensive job to fully restore. I'm going to show you the Beckstein Model A. If you look at the video of the, Be the Beckstein Model uh, 3 that we've got, you'll see there's a lot of huge amount of work goes into it. So the only thing that would stop us from fully restoring this is the fact that the strings and the tuning pins, uh, the tuning pins are tight, the strings are good. But the action needs full restoration. The casework uh, would look 
wonderful. I'll put a link of a similar piano that we've fully restored and uh, it's been covered over but there's some wonderful grain under here. The other thing I wanted to mention is that when these are fully restored, um, very often the name is changed to Beckstein across there and it's made black. The whole piano is made black. This is so commonly done. Uh, the music stand's changed for a more kind of fan-shaped one. Um, and that's commonly done, so you wouldn't recognise the piano. Uh, the Beckstein model uh, A that I just showed you, by the way, is, is all original. It would be nice to keep this all original, really. Um, that's what we'd like to do. It has a very, a very um, inspiring tone to it, but it's a bit dry here. And that will go when it's restored. That's to do with the, the down bearing and the bridges, but um, that's something we're used to getting done. Very powerful sound, but not very sensitive to play at the moment. If you're trying to play something like the Moonlight Sonata, you can't get the notes to sound it consistently. It's really difficult. You have to play it louder. You know, and even then it's not very consistent. So not very suitable for serious practice. It's the best I can manage. And I'm used to playing all sorts of actions, so I'm used to trying to get round it, but it's still very, very difficult, very unsatisfying. We'll have fantastic dynamic range. Very suitable concert piano. The style, style uh, three that we ha have in stock is, um, is in a concert location and very suitable indeed for that. I hope that's helpful and thank you very much for listening. If you're interested in the piano, please let us know. Write to info at robertspianos.com and let us know what you'd like us to do. Thank you very much.